Hey y'all, hey. my name is Crystal. I'm Rochelle. And we are part of Stiletto. Just wanted to um touch base and do a little video with you guys. We've never done anything that's personal. We're always writing about celebrity yeah. events and celebrity gossip, but we've never actually done a video. So we're just kind of putting the face of Stiletto, letting y'all know who we are, a little bit about our personality, and um, hope that you guys enjoy. We were going to do a blog tonight on different articles, but instead of writing it, we're actually going to speak it. So let's get started. I'm excited. All right. So our first, our first topic, Mr. C. Hmm. Mr. C was mm-hmm. allegedly arrested for public lewdness, or as you like to say, <laughs> having gay sex in the car. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So um, he was he was arrested or allegedly arrested, and um, how I feel about it is it's an unfortunate situation to be caught in mm-hmm. like that. That's crazy. Embarrassing. Very embarrassing. But then again, I mean, it happens. So, and at the end of the day, it is what it is. He's a grown man; he can make his own decisions. If he's gay, then you're gay. I think my biggest beef with the whole situation is pretty much that you that he's denying it. You're on Twitter; you're denying it when all the evidence is leading to say that uh, it was you and it was a guy. And then the second part of it is twenty years old though. Like you got you want to do that with somebody that's twenty. Uh, I don't know. But we still love Mr. Phoebe. Listen to his music. It's all every good. day, all day. But if you want to do something like that, keep it, bro. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, don't lie to your, to your fans because you're going to lose respect. Or just don't say nothing. I mean, if somebody comes up to you, just don't say don't anything say about it. Say no comment. I mean, keep the best. <laughs> exactly. All right. So, Next the next time. thing that we're going to talk about is actually Rihanna. Mm-hmm. Allegedly, was buzzing is that Beyonce is now under Rock Nation, and so is Rihanna. And Rihanna's people is kind of telling her to leave or, you know, make a different type of movement because it's a conflict of interest, which I understand it. I mean, at the end of the day, if there's an endorsement deal put on the table and they want either Beyonce or Rihanna and Jay-Z is the person making a decision. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a conflict. Right. Why wouldn't he pick Beyonce being that that's his household? That's money that he's making. That's money coming in his house. (laughs) But then again, maybe he's a businessman, which, I mean, we've seen him be a businessman. Mm -hmm. So maybe he'll make, you know. A smarter decision. Fair decision. Exactly. For whoever it's supposed to go to. But we'll see what happens with that. Beyonce has a new album coming out. So, and Rihanna's on tour with J. Cole. So, We'll see what happens. All right. Um, the next topic is our favorite show. I love it. <laughs> if you guys don't watch it, it comes on VH1 at 10 o'clock at night on Monday night. Be Monday. sure that if you haven't seen it yet, catch up because it's yes, very go good. Go YouTube it, do something, try and find some clips to get this whole thing together. Yeah. This show is fine. <laughs> so what we wanted to um talk about, I don't know if people watch the show or you don't watch the show, but if you don't watch the show, you're not going to understand this piece, so you might want to watch it, catch up, and then play us again. <laughs> but we're going to talk about the um beef between Chrissy, which is Jim Jones' girlfriend, and Samaya Reese, which is a new up-and-coming artist who's trying to work with Jim Jones. So... Yeah, Samaya Reese just popped out of nowhere, as how I see it. Living in the attic. Exactly. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. But she popped out of nowhere, came to Jimmy, and wants to work with him. So, okay, Jimmy is New York. Her music does not sound New York, so... Her music doesn't even sound radio yet. At all. No, no radio, no nothing. Um, The thing about it is is that, um, as far as the last episode, there was a little bit of a tiff. Because um, Mm -hmm. Samaya Reese... Um, went to Emily before to kind of get to talk to her and get to know her and stuff like that. And try to get information about whether Chrissy is the reason why Jim Jones doesn't want to work right. with her or if it's really Jim Jones. And just to like make a long story short, Chrissy did go to Jim Jones and say, you know, I went to her performance and I don't think that she's ready. And in all fairness, I think that Chrissy has the right to do it because that's his, his money is her money. She's mm-hmm. holding down her family and I don't feel like she was being a hater. I honestly think that she was, at first I felt like she was, but I really do feel like she was being sincere because mm-hmm. Samaya Reese is whack. I mean, she has potential maybe to get better, but her lyrics is not there yet. You want to work with Jim Jones, who's been in the game for how long now? Exactly. You got to come a little bit harder than that. That's people's money. They need to eat. <laughs> yeah. So on the yacht, Emily goes to Chrissy and explains what happened at the meeting. So now um, Samaya Reese's manager More was Reese. on the yacht and listening. And he, instigated. He instigated hard. He took what they said, 
twisted, twisted it, it, and then went outside of the yacht and told Samaya. Then Samaya goes and bum rushes into like the yacht. Like a hurricane. Christmas. Like a hurricane. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, they just had it out. They had it out seriously. So so they started fighting, and long story short, it's, it's kind of ugly. There's part two that's going to be happening tonight. So stay tuned. VH1, guys, 10 o'clock tonight. It goes down, and we will be talking about it again next week. <laughs> and last but not least, on April Fool's Day, there was a joke going around that Drake got kicked out of Young Money. So we had to talk about it because if this was real, it's if, it no was real if it was <laughs> it real, it would be crazy. I would have been mad. Just, <sighs> just a little background on the situation. It was the story was that Drake felt like he wasn't getting enough money from Young Money, and he refused Didn't to get perform. any of his royalties or some of his royalties. Right, so he refused mm. to perform. They got into an argument and led into like a little fight, and then he told Wayne that you know he makes Young Money and that he was the one holding Young Money. <laughs> if it down. wasn't for him, exactly. If it wasn't for him, while Wayne was in jail, it, Young Money wouldn't be what it is. Yeah, uh, but that um, makes no sense. I would have been very mad if it was true because Jake, you're live. I love. You, I love your music, but I at the end you. of the day, Wayne is Young Money. Wayne holds down Young Money. Wayne recruits the best artists for Young Money, <laughs> and yeah, yeah. But Wayne will still be living. Trust me when I say he will still be living. But we do love Drake. We love the whole Young Money. And yeah. this was an April Fool's joke. joke. So, it's so not really true. and truly, this is how we feel if it, it happens. happens. Exactly. But regardless. Um, Drake, Wayne, Nikki, Gutta, all of them are fine. So. And then last but not least, we just wanted to touch base. I don't know if you guys really know what we do or who we are, but we are Stiletto Impressions. We do events. We do full planning. We do full event planning. So if you need your birthday plan, wedding plan, bachelor vet party, I mean anything, we do it all. We're very creative. We're very unique. Not your typical event planning company. We're very in tune with the industry. We go to a lot of industry events. Um, we, you know, do a lot of stuff that's the celebrity base we are in tune with the with the lives of celebrities so we talk about them a lot um reality tv shows we do it all because ultimately our goal is to plan celebrity events and that's pretty much all we're gonna eventually be doing mm-hmm. so remember our names remember our faces we are stiletto i'm crystal i'm rochelle and um see you guys next week and we have a twitter sorry oh uh, yes it's um stiletto underscore, underscore events <laughs> follow us guys follow us. and we will follow you back and um facebook stiletto impressions at us all right keep up with all our updates and don't forget to check out our blog from time to time all right bye, bye.